Hello everyone! Today we are going to learn how to make a doctor's appointment. Let's watch the dialogue first between the receptionist and the patient. Hello, doctor's office? Yes, I want to make an appointment with Dr. Lee. May I have your name please? Yes, this is Andy G. When can you come in? How about 3 p.m. next Tuesday? Okay, what's the matter? I have a fever. Okay, see you then. Thank you. Hello, doctor's office? Yes, I want to make an appointment with Dr. Lee. When you say I want to, also you can say I would like to or I'd like to. One more time. I want to, I would like to, I'd like to. I'd means I would. Dr. Lee. When you say doctor and Lee, doctor, then you say person's last name, not first name. Dr. Lee, Dr. Wang, Dr. Smith, Dr. Jones. And receptionist says, may I have your name please? May I? May I? It's a very polite uh, expression. You can also say, could I have? Could I have an appointment with Dr. Lee? Could I have? Or can I have? They're all same meaning. But may I? May I have? is the most common way to say that. On the phone, when you're, uh, when you're talking about your name, you can say, yes, this is Julia Yoon. So you say first name, then last name. First name and last name. So again, yes, this is Julia Yoon. Some people might ask, can I say, I am Julia Yoon? The meaning is the same, but on the phone, people usually say, this is, this is Julia Yoon. How about 3 p.m. next to Tuesday? How about, how about, and what about? They're exactly same meaning. How about? What about? When you say 3 a.m., 3 p.m., when you say a.m. means in the morning, in the morning. When you say p.m., in the afternoon. So here, 3 p.m. means 3 in the afternoon. What's the matter? Means, what's the problem? What's the matter? Also, you can say, what's the problem? And when you say you have uh, uh, aches or body hurt, you can use, I have a cold. I have a fever. I have a flu. I have a cough. Also, you can say five body aches. I have a headache. I have a headache. I have an earache. I have a toothache. I have a stomachache. I have a backache. Okay, see you then. Here, then means at that time. See you at that time. So you can also say, see you then. See you at that time. Let's talk about grammar points. Let's talk about the difference between doctors, office, and what. So do you see like a, a apostrophe? and s. So we say, looks like a comma, we say apostrophe, apostrophe. 
when you say what's what's the matter what means what is what is the matter what is the matter however when you say doctor's office doctors do you think this is doctor is no in this case apostrophe has a different meaning we can also use an apostrophe uh, to show that one person or a thing owns or is a member of something for example the office of doctor the office of doctor whose office doctor's office so we can say doctor's office the car of John. Whose car? John's car. So we can say John apostrophe S. John's car. The room of Andy. We can also say Andy's room. Andy apostrophe S room. Andy's room. So whenever you talk about a uh, person or thing owns or is a member of something, you put apostrophe, then S, apostrophe S. Now, let's listen and repeat after me. Hello, doctor's office. Yes, I want to make an appointment with Dr. Lee. May I have your name, please? Yes, this is Andy G. When can you come in? How about 3 p.m. next Tuesday? Okay, what's the matter? I have a fever. Okay, see you then. Thank you.